Okay, so we're in this position, guys. And like I said before, I'm trying to attack the lead leg, I'm trying to keep the lead leg on my outside line. So this happens a lot when, let's say I can't get up. He's really pressuring me in. My movement's not, failing. I'm not really able to get like to an offensive position. I can't get my feet to his hips, can't get back to my feet. I've got to go to something. So we're going to play like kind of a half guard, single leg-ish type of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of scoot in, slide, so that I get my thigh on top of this toe. I'm going to slide in, trying to get here. And as I'm doing that, I'm turning the angle, and I'm going to think about punching his arm across his knee and grab my, my shirt, or just come right across to my, my lapel. Now I'm going to come up on this hand, like I'm going to do a technical stand-up. But what I'm going to think about doing is see how I've got his leg trapped here. I think about scooping it. So I'm bringing like my shin right to where my hip is now. And as I scoop it, I'm gonna lean on that leg. So I just come back and get here. Perfect, we're gonna start right, snap right from this position. So I get, I've got to my knees. Now I'm gonna look, I can pitch it together, hold on, but I'm gonna switch my hands and look for this far side uh, ankle, all right? What I'm gonna do, why don't you guys come all over here so you can see this. Jim, you can jump on, you guys can jump on. I'm going to pull this instep to my pocket. Ball down on it, walk forward, and stop right here. Okay, we're going to stop right here. We're going to pass off this eventually. But I want to get, see how I've trapped that foot to my hip? That's eventually going to turn into a hook for me to pass his guard. Fairly simple, okay? So again, we're here. Monitor our range. He's coming in. We're slide, come across to our knees, switch, pick it my pocket, lay on it, and just get nice and tight and heavy on, th on top of that, that, uh, that thigh, okay? So you guys, eventually, I'm breaking down into chunks. Come on back up again. I'm saying come through here, then come to your knees, boom. What eventually becomes is that you come in, you're just like, whoop, and I'm just right on top of it already, all right? Same thing as pull underneath and drive through. Okay, does that make sense? Well, right now, kind of chunk it out, get the feel for it. By watching the kids do this, I saw a lot of them have a hard time. Like they get here and they don't, they don't go anywhere. They can't lean forward. You have to scoop the leg. You have to keep this leg tight. I'm locked in and pull it to me. Now I just lay on it. I can sweep them just like that. Does that make sense? That's the kind of the feel of the technique. I'm like scooping, like trapping it between and then like, like, like bring it back across. Like I'm like, dragging it out to my opposite hip. So if I'm here, if I think about just bringing this knee to my hip while I had that leg trapped, and then as I bring that knee to my hip, I, dro I drop my chest on top of the leg, that's the feeling we're looking for, okay? Questions on that? Let's go. Same partners. Guys, I also want you to think about too, is uh, just go like, just, I'll just go knee and belly right here, like that just standing. Okay. So it's very similar to like, when we were talking about like, kind of like defending, getting on the knee and belly, that, that S legs, I was coming here, boom, I'm still like s legging around the back, right, to get up. We did it for you guys right here, okay? So it's a similar thing, this is now I left one leg in the middle. So I'm still like kind of coming around s legging, boom, all right? But now I've got the leg in the middle, so I'm using that leg to trap. But if I'm escaping, let's say, that side control, I was coming, boom, here. Same concept, right? We just got a leg in the middle. Does that make sense, I hope? Okay, good. So here. Sliding in, coming across, getting it. Now, sorry, I, I can hold two on if I, I, I like if you guys have one, but eventually you have confidence of having to squeeze your leg on that so you can't go anywhere. Everybody had a hard time with, I want to pull this in step, so I'm reaching across. Now, I can start knocking him over and then pull it to my hip and follow him down. That's fine too. All right, so I should have this position so you guys can all see. One foot is trapped on the outside hip. His toes over here are basically above his knees right now, okay? So where I've done a good job sm like sm smashing him down, flattening him out, but now I gotta finish the pass. So we're gonna do first thing, I always keep my weight onto him, but I come underneath, like my, the, the, uh, underneath my hands, I come underneath, sorry buddy. Drive through, grab his own belt or fabric, whatever I can. I wanna lock his toes, uh, his foot to his ass, all right? I wanna keep it glued there. It's a hook that I use to pass the whole time. Now I start coming down, I don't work my legs over his knees. So I try to trap his hips even further from locking down. So I actually trapped his bottom knee right there. Okay, so now he's locked in even more. Hug the head, get a nice big grip. So I'm pulling him into me. 
Now I'm going to switch my hips. I'm going to use my right leg and right knee to drive it forward as I switch backwards. Okay, so now my weight on his shoulder. I kick that bottom leg out of the way. I still got that hook on my bicep. Now I'm going to walk my feet forward by driving this. And I establish my side control. Okay, one more time. <clears throat> I'm here. Slide in. Pick it. Forward. Wrap the foot. Okay. Walk around. Tap that knee. Hug the head. Switch my hips by driving through. Keeping all that pressure on top of him. Back step out. Drive back in. Establish side control. Cool? Questions? Do it. Okay, um, and that's him that, that, that looks like we're just doing. All right, so Evan's here, all right? Um, what, I'll explain later the whole kind of point of these lessons, but um, I'm not gonna try to fight the upper body. I'm gonna now try to work for, fight the legs. So I wanna get Evan flat. We know that if he's here, he has an opportunity. Uh, if I make his back flat on the ground, take his legs out of the picture, or uh, take his mobility out of the picture, I have a better opportunity, okay? So I'm thinking about reaching through on the inside, pant legs, or if I'm going no gi, these are my hooks. So I'm going to hook on the inside, or grab P, grab the gi. Now I'm like thinking about putting his ass on the mat, all right? When I get here, I pass it over to the other hand, and slide that knee over to pass, okay? Kind of a basic like bullfighter type-ish pass, all right? So I'm going to do the same exact thing. If you white belts just want to try that, but uh, I'd rather you guys just show foot box now how it all works. So same thing again. To come through, feet, key pants, or here, put his ass on the mat, okay? Pass it over. Now, I'm gonna slide in. Sorry, you gotta be there. I'm gonna come, as I slide in, I'm gonna have this grip come up to my toe, like here. So I'm getting his toes right underneath my armpit, and a good bite on his leg here, and do a one arm, all right? Knees in, sit back, stomp on his chest. Other leg comes out, so I'll solidify it, and just roll my shoulders back, all right? So, for you guys, I'm stomping his chest because if I have no legs in, it's easy for him to get out. If I go here in 50-50 yard, now he's an opportunity. So I don't want him coming up. So once I come down, my outside leg stops, and you can, you can crisscross your feet. I'm just trying to keep him locked in there to get that foot lock. If I need to go, I go two hands on one, but if I don't need to. So, now, Evan's natural reaction is to start, let's do the rolling escape one. He, wants to, he can't roll out of it anyway. So he's gonna roll step over this way. Good, keep coming, keep coming. And we're gonna go belly down on it, okay? So, put a foot lock on for So, I can't roll, like, uh, let's go, uh, 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 this, this one on this side. Perfect, okay. So, I can't roll this way, that's gonna make it worse for me, okay? So I have to roll into a foot lock. So I kind of give you guys a base layout of understanding how to defend it. So I'm rolling, I think I'm like, oh, well, this is my escape. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna gain a roll out of it. As I do that, as I roll the escape, he's gonna pinch his knees together and just stop putting the brakes when, I, when, I get, when he goes belly down. So I get here, he just puts on the brakes and his arch is back into my foot. Does that make sense? Okay, so the whole thing again. I'm here, picking it, put his ass on the ground, passing it over. Sliding it in, stomp on his chest, other leg out. Now just deal shit, okay? The deeper I get, the better. But one arm in, the position is perfect. Questions? If I keep that leg, that foot right at the chest, fine, right in the chest. So the knee essentially, even if I crisscross my feet, I'm not reaping the knee. The knee's safe. I'm not like, if I go heel hooky, now I'm reaping the knee, okay? We're not doing that. That's forcing me to 50-50. Yeah, if I was doing no gi, it's not even on your back. If someone who's wiping the heel hook, I can just step over, hook nice and close, and then just grab that heel hook right there. But that's uh, illegal for IBJF, obviously. And uh, we're not doing no gi right now. Cool? Yes, Questions? Do it.